Hello students. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change your X and Y axis on a graph or any set of data. So typically when you're in Excel, uh, the first column that's highlighted with your data is on the X axis. And then the second column that you highlight will be on the Y. And it just does that because alphabetically X and Y. Now, right now, you can see I have the mass, which is from a range of zero to 30 grams. So zero all the way up to 30 grams. And then for my uh, domain, I'm from zero to 10. And I see that from zero to 10. Now, if I want to switch these axes, there's an easy way to do that on Excel. You can just click the graph itself, go to chart design. And remember with chart design, this is where I can add elements like the axis, axis titles, you know, chart title, grid lines that I love, the primary, uh, minor, both horizontal and vertical that I've been adding. I was showing you how you can just click on this as well to get those to pop up. So you can look at your uh, axis options that way. So you have a minimum and a maximum of 10. We see minimum, maximum of 10, the major, uh, grids or ticks or one we have that here and the minor but really again what this video about is is actually switching the data so I want this 0 to 30 to be on my X let's say and I want this 0 to 10 to go on my Y once I click on the graph I can go to select data this window will pop up and we'll see the X values right here they're showing that they're in column A see that right there and the y values are in column b so a really easy way to fix this is i can just go over here I, there's probably an easier way but i'm just doing it uh the way that i know and it's not too long is i'm switching the a's and the b's so you see that i've switched the a's and the b's so now really the uh mass right is going to be my x values and the volume is going to be my y values so now this will go for y 0 to 10 and for x 0 to 30 once i click ok and i see that it did that so that and i also see my linear equation changed as well so i see that i have a different linear equation so that's a quick and easy way to change it. Uh, obviously, if you want, you can just take this, copy, cut, you know, move this over and paste it. That's another option that you always have. So again, that's just to show you two ways to switch the axes in Excel. And I hope that was helpful.